Hi, I am Gladys. Welcome to my channel. In this video, let's see what is Barrett Diode. So, what is Barrett Diode? So, Barrett Diode is the acronym of Barrier Injection Transit Time Diode. This diode is used in microwave signal generation. It works based on the thermionic emission that is electrons are discharged when the temperature is increased so it is less noisy whereas other diodes works on avalanche multiplication uh, microwave oscillations takes place in the Barrett diode this happens due to thermionic emission and diffusion of minority carrier across the forward bias barrier so this is the construction of Barrett diode so it has Barrett diode has two terminals anode and cathode it has three layer and it is it has a m n m structure that is metal n type and metal structure basically Barrett diode consists of two back to back diodes it can be p type and n type or metal and semiconductor or combination of two so let's see about the working of Barrett diode so it has P N and N P uh, two diodes back to back diodes. So this N type is larger than the other uh, P N N type. So this is the emitter and this is the base and this is the drift region and this is the collector. So it is forward bias. So this P type is connected to the uh, positive terminal and this P type is connected to the negative terminal. So let's see about uh, the working of Barrett diode in detail. The N type region is larger than both P types. So punch through effect occurs between these regions. So punch through effect is the effect which happens when the depletion region expands from one junction to the other junction. So when the emitter is connected to the positive terminal and collector is connected to the negative terminal, it is said to be forward biased. So in the forward bias, emitter base will be in the forward bias mode and the collector and the base will be in the reverse bias mode. So operation is limited around 25 gigahertz for silicon and 90 gigahertz for gallium arsenide. So this is the VA characteristics of Barrett diode. So in the VA characteristics of Barrett diode, we can see the VPT that is the punch through voltage. So it differs for both the directions and it can be controlled during the manufacturing and construction process. So this is the voltage and current waveforms. So first is the punch through voltage. This is the terminal voltage and this is the injection current. Uh, uh, then this is the terminal current. So this injection current is the current formed in the punch through uh, area. So when the voltage is applied to the device, the potential drop happens in the reverse bias. So when the voltage is increased further till the end of the depletion region, the punch through happens. So initially the depletion region will be free of charges. And after the punch through happens, after the charge carriers are injected, it travels to the base with the saturation velocity. So after the charge carriers are injected in the depletion region due to the positive resistance region of Barrett diode it results in non-ideal current waveform. So the width of the terminal current depends on the on time or the transit time. So the advantage is it works on thermionic emission so it produces very low noise. The disadvantages are when the frequency is increased, the efficiency decreases. It produces low power output. The bandwidth is very narrow. The applications are it is used in burglar alarms. It is used as oscillator and it is used as small signal amplifier. So thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe.